Hey everybody, John here. Welcome back to another test with full self-driving. If you are in a robo taxi and your car gets stuck behind a tractor, for example, on a rural country road, you are going to be very, very disappointed, frustrated, and quite frankly, you're gonna to wanna to get out of the car. I have version 12.5.4.1, still waiting for version 13. Very curious if us Hardware 3 folks will get a point release before version 13 goes out. I'm here with a buddy of mine, Gary, and we're gonna be driving on rural roads. We're gonna put it to the test. I was asked this question before. I'm very curious myself to find out what happens when you're on a road and it's one lane on the right side and one lane on the left side and you have a vehicle that's moving really slowly in front of you, and it's a passing zone. Sometimes it's that double yellow line and it's solid and you cannot cross because there's a turn in the road or something coming up. Those situations as well, we're gonna to try to test that with the amount of time that we have, but most importantly, what happens if a car is stopped on the side of the road, not even on the side, but in the middle of the road? Will your car in a passing zone go around that car? This will be really helpful for those of you that are on the fence trying to figure out if full self-driving is worth it when you live on a country road and maybe you have tractors or other slow moving vehicles. What happens in those situations? We're gonna find out. Before we get started with these tests, I thought I'd summarize to save everybody a bunch of time. This is the too long, don't read summary. I tested for over an hour and took the car through 12 different scenarios. Eight of them were with a slow moving vehicle in front of my car, and four of them were with a stopped vehicle right in front of my car. I can say with a high degree of confidence that full self-driving really doesn't pay any attention to whether it's a solid line or a dashed line with regard to passing. I can also say that there is some recognition of these roads where you have a single lane on the right and the single lane on the left, because the minute I tried to force it to change lanes, it would not do it with the turn signal. It's saying auto lane change unavailable. Pretty much the only situations where my car tried to go around a slower moving or a stopped vehicle were when it approached from a very long distance back and it was safe to move over into the other lane and also when the vehicle was trying to move off of the road. There were a couple situations where full self-driving really surprised me. It tried to move over into the other lane when a curve when the road was coming up. Oh, 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 it almost went for it. That's, no, don't do it. Don't, no, 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 <laughs> it did. It was trying to go for it. I can't believe that. Yeah, see, look, that other car is coming right there. Full self-driving cannot recognize any of the signs that say no passing zone. In a lot of situations, even humans won't obey the solid line, no passing zone areas. However, I think for full self-driving to be absolutely safe, it really needs to recognize those situations and not pass at all. Generally speaking, I hope the Tesla Autopilot team sees these tests because it really needs to operate differently in these conditions. If you are in a robo taxi and your car gets stuck behind a tractor, for example, on a rural country road, you are going to be very, very disappointed, frustrated, and quite frankly, you're gonna to wanna to get out of the car. If it tries to go over, I'm gonna to have to cancel out of it because that's really dangerous if it tried to pass you here. Yeah, slow way down, slow way down. There's no one behind us. Yeah, like I can't see anything. If it tries to cross and pass you here, that's bad. Yeah, let's yeah. see if it I'll, does. I'll yell, I'll yell if, if some, someone was coming. I, nobody yet. Okay, yeah, I don't see anyone, but this is a, a dangerous spot to try to pass because someone could be coming around pretty quick here. Good, I'm glad it's not going for it because it's it's really poor visibility straight ahead. What happens if you stop completely? Like stop, yeah, just stop, oh, Gary. Okay. Yeah, stop. Oh, 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 it almost went for it. That's, no, don't do it. Don't, no, 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 <laughs> it did. It was trying to go for it. I can't believe that. That's not, that's not a good thing. I'm reporting that one. Yeah, see, look, that other car is coming right there. That was not good at all.
yeah look at this this is a great spot because now it's clear and it should go what if you stop now yeah, i'm going to gradually stop okay wow yeah it's totally clear to i would say as a human driver like if you were in in this car as a robo taxi passenger you would get pretty mad you'd be like what is going on i need to get where i'm going and this car is not moving and it's totally clear and it's not going at all are you on an aggressive setting yeah i am it's not it's not not going around you at all oh 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 turn signal look at this turn signal just went on steering wheel's moving it's thinking about it. Yeah, I think it's just so close to you. Steering wheel is still turning left. It's really wanting to get out of this spot. I think it's it, it's a it has the radius to do it. Okay. It can go if it accelerates. It can do it. And it's not going. Oh, now the wheel's going back to the right a little bit. The tentacle shows a double yellow line when it's not correct. We've got a, a dashed line here. So it definitely can overtake you, but it's not doing it. And I think... Do you want me to creep forward? Me to, should I creep forward about two feet? Yes, try that. Go forward just a little bit. I'll bet you it will overtake you then. It just doesn't think it has enough space, but it does. Yeah, see? It just didn't think it had enough space. It's like when you're parked... And um, it's like when yeah. you're, yeah, I'll let you go ahead again. It's like when you're parked, okay. pa it's like when you're parallel parked and there's not enough space. That's, that, right. that was that same, it felt like it couldn't go, but I know it could have, it easily could have. Yeah. It's showing on the screen now with the dashed lines. So now it's definitely legal and allowed to cross pass over you right and it's and it's not going it's stopping what yeah put on my flat? yeah oh that's a good test yeah put on your flashers see what happens oh still not still not going now we've got another car coming straight ahead huh? but yeah it's not it's not going around you Interesting. Even though it's showing on the screen now, we have the dashed lines here. It's not going at all. What happens if you go and re... Oh, now it's moving. Look at this. Oh, now it's going. It's thinking about it. Oh, left turn signal went on. Nobody behind us. Nobody in front of us. It's clear to go. And it's starting to want to go. <laughs> Again, if you move forward a little bit, it will definitely go, but it feels like it, it can't make the move for some reason. What happens if you go in reverse? What if you can go in reverse a little bit? Because if you go forward, we know what, what, it, what it will do. Oh, now we got a car coming. Oh, now, yeah, we should go. We've got another car behind us now. I'm going to pull over in this pavement. Oh, good idea. I'll wave these guys by. Okay, perfect. Okay, here I come. Turn it on. Okay, it's enabled. Accelerating 20 miles an hour, 26. 32, 36, slowing down, wants to go around you, oh my gosh, it almost went around you. That was great, because there's another car, and now my steering wheel's turning to go around you. Nice, that's what it needed to do, that was great. That was actually really well done right there. So it seems like if there's enough of a gap, then it's more intelligent.
But now it's saying that sign says no passing zone. Oh, it's right there, right where you are right now. So now it definitely should not pass. So now do this. Go over to the right as if you're getting off the road at, in a little bit here because it says no passing zone. And obviously it can't read the sign, but it should be clear with the cameras because we have no shadows or anything that this is a solid line. So now uh, try going over to the side, see what happens. Car's tempted. Oh, it did it. Okay, that's new information to me that it will go across solid yellow lines. This is a great test right here. Oh, it's it's trying to. Oh, it's oh, it almost did. Oh, it's so tempted, but it didn't go. That's gr oh, it's it's really wanting to go. Oh, it crossed it passed you. Oh my gosh. Okay, that's not good. It really shouldn't do that under any circumstances. However, you know that stuff like that happens all the time. Here we got some. Let, let's pull over up here. Ooh, good test. Yeah, another blind spot, and you're tr you're really tr tempting the <laughs> self driving, <laughs> seeing if it's gonna do anything that it shouldn't. And here, definitely, it should not try to pass you here. This would be a big problem if it did. Yeah, going eight miles an hour. Yeah, it's not it's not passing you. It seems like. It only tries to pass when you go off the road a little bit. And here it's clear enough, like I would I would say it's okay to cross. Oh wait, now we got another car coming. Let's see what happens. Well, it's gonna, I'm sure it sees them. Yeah, it's displayed on my screen. So it's not crossing because of that truck there. And still not crossing. Like right here is a perfect opportunity to pass. Try slowing down even more. Go like five miles an hour. Yeah, like this is a perfect zone to pass and it won't it won't do it. But again, on the screen, it's not showing the dashed lines. So that leads me to believe that it, it's either the shadows from the trees or the lines aren't popping out enough. I don't know. I, I really can't figure that out. But this is a good spot right here because now, oh, now it shows on my screen the dashed lines. These lines are are pretty decent shape. They're not terrible. True. Looks like looks like they were painted, you know, within the year. Yeah, true. Car's had, car coming behind us. Oh, we yes. Can put on a, we can wave them. Okay, I'll do that. Oh, my car just tried to go around you. <laughs> as soon as you pulled off, my car tried to go around yeah. you. <laughs> uh, pulling, over trigger, pulling over triggers it. Yeah, even though I had my hazards on with self-driving enabled, it was going to try to overtake you. Yeah, kind of crazy to me that it doesn't pass in these areas right here. It's clearly able to pass. Like if you were a tractor going seven miles an hour right now, this would be the, the right time to pass you. Let me see if I turn on my left turn signal, what it does. I'm forcing it on and it's not going over. It's still not passing you, even though I have the turn signal turned on. Interesting. Still timid. But if I pull slightly, the only way is if I pull slightly to the right. Yeah, it says like it says lane change unavailable. It just showed a message on my screen. It's saying auto lane change unavailable. Try, yeah, try it. Try pulling over a little bit. 
auto lane change unavailable. But then as soon as you pull over, it, it does the auto lane change. Weird. Wow, yeah, that's so crazy. So it will not go across dashed yellow lines. Okay, I'm turning it back on again. It's gonna speed up and catch up to you now. And it's showing on the screen, it's showing the, the dashed lines. So it technically can pass you right now, slowing down. It's almost like it didn't slow down until the last second. And yeah, again, if it, if it, if it gets up really close, it like gets trapped in this pattern of I can't cross, but on the screen, it's showing the solid lines again. Seems to have some sort of intelligence where if it's a single lane on both sides, it won't pass no matter what. Unless you start pulling over to the side of the road. That's the only exception. Yeah, because this other lane, is, it's an opposing lane. Correct. So it has some intelligence built in. And I know they said they got rid of all the heuristics, but I, if, if it was completely AI trained on humans, no human would sit here like this behind a slow moving vehicle. So in my opinion, this is hard coded in because there, there's absolutely no way a human would do, do what the FSD is doing right now. Would you agree? Yeah. A human would want to pass. Absolutely. It just, it's not a scenario that happens often. Right. But it still needs to be resolved. True. In conclusion, I found that it's very easy to get stuck behind a slower moving vehicle. This was a little bit of a disappointment to me. However, I thought that it would be able to recognize passing zones and non-passing zones, but it seems to treat those identically, at least based on these tests. I'm really curious to hear what you think down in the comments below. If you enjoyed this video, hit the like button and subscribe to my channel. Thanks, and I'll see you in the next one.